guys, it's Mike Chen. Today I'm in the heart of Little India, right on Saragon Road. Little India is one of the most historic and definitely one of the most vibrant districts here in Singapore. This area used to be full of racetracks, cattle herders. Now there's shops, there's temples, of course, many amazing restaurants, and that's why I'm here today. Starting the day off pretty early, it's lunchtime. Let's go get some beer on. And this is the first place I'm going to, Mr. Biani. They even open? Huh, they're closed on Tuesdays. And it's Tuesday. Google said they're open. That's okay, I've got a lot of restaurants on this list. Today is a rare day in Singapore where I'm not covered in sweat. It's hot, but it's not deathly hot. And here we are. This is the first place to go into. Let's get some dosa. So this place got a lot on the menu. There's dosa, there's fish curry, they have birani as well. And they have this lunch special where you can just go grab whatever you want from the laid out dishes. I got mutton suka prawn masala. And this is the fish fry. I just saw this, I didn't know what it was. Banana leaf wrapped around a piece of fried fish. Uh, onions in line. Whew, that is pretty. Squeeze a little lime juice on that. And of course, my beautiful looking butter naan. Perfectly toasty on the bottom, flaky and airy and drenched in butter. I guess something started with something like this. That naan is a meal on its own. So the mutton suka, it, it's a dry mutton dish with Indian masala just covering this whole thing. I see some basil leaves, cashews, definitely see some coriander seeds, cumin as well. Wow. That's a dish that not only brings the flavor, it brings the heat. No wonder it's not as hot outside today. All the heat is right in here. It's delicious though. This kind of reminds me of the dish I had in China, which is basically mutton skewers with tons of chili and cumin. Except here, it's much more flavorful because they added so much more to the flavor of this dish. Mm. And the mutton itself, some lean pieces, some fatty pieces. It's like a flavor overload. The mutton is tender. It feels like every single time I chew, more flavor exudes from these little pieces of meat. There's so much aroma from the basil leaves too. Mm. A nice crunch from the cashews. That goes so nice too with the knot. I really want to try out this fish. It just came out of the kitchen. Look how old. Wow, look how juicy this fish is. Again, covered in masala. And this is a stir-fried fish. Wow. I would highly recommend this. Not just highly recommend, make sure you come here and you try this fish dish out. Extremely juicy, soft, flaky filet, sweet, tender fish covered in this amazing masala. Mm. And that flavor has definitely steeped all the way into the middle of the fish. The whole thing is just like a celebration in your mouth. Let me add some, some onions to it. Mm. Even better. A little crunchy, juicy onions added to the amazing flavor of this fish. This is unbelievably good. No wonder as soon as they brought it out, I was kind of drawn to that dish. I always feel like I have a sixth sense for dishes. That's amazing. Next, this is one of their signature dishes in this restaurant. This is the prawn masala. Mm. Oh, this is so good. This dish, chilies inside, giant pieces of poppin' sweet prawn, soaked in that deliciously rich gravy. There's also cashew paste in here to give us a more deep, rich, fattier flavor. The gravy is rich, it's hearty, the flavor is so amazingly deep. The prawn and tomatoes brings out extra subtle sweetness. This is the best Indian food I've had in such a long time. I'm so happy with this right now. Mm, still, those are to come. Ooh, this 
It is a beautiful looking dish. Just got a basket of fresh garlic naan. So this is a rice and lentil pancake and there's vegetables stuffed inside. And check out how amazingly light and thin this is. You can probably hang glide with this thing. And in the middle, look at that. An assortment of vegetables. I see some spicy potatoes, cumin, three different types of different sauce on the side. Mm. There's a curry sauce you can dip in there. There's different chutneys you can dip it in. I think some with chilies, some with mint. Mm. This restaurant is amazing. The skin, again, you saw how light and delicate it is. Pretty much dissolves when it touches your mouth. Mm. And the vegetables inside, especially the potatoes, are so delightfully velvety. Mix that with some of the chutney to change up the flavor profile a little bit. And you taste a tiny bit the sourness of the dough as well. And the texture is amazing with a slight crunch on the outside. Parts of the dough stuck, especially ones with the vegetables inside. It's just pure mind blowing. Take a little break at my favorite vending machine in Singapore. Fresh sugar cane juice for $2, two Singapore dollars. Fresh as you can get sugar cane juice. Yeah, it is delicious. This would easily be, I think, seven, eight dollars back in the US. My favorite vending machine in all of Singapore. Right in the middle of Little India. Next place I'm going to is actually a couple of doors down. Mustard, flavors of Bengal and Punjab. So this place comes highly recommended. I feel like it's more of a modern Indian food restaurant. This is the Manchir cutlet. It's basically fish cutlet, deep fried, crunchy on the outside. Wedge of lemon and this comes with a specialty mustard sauce. As soon as my fork pierced the outside of the fish, I know this is gonna be crunchy. This is freaking incredible. The most tender, juicy fish and probably the crunchiest shell. That is not just crunchy, but so light and delicate. Just the fish itself is really flavorful. Add that mustard sauce. Um, the mustard sauce, just to balance out that slight oiliness from this dish, this thing is just absolute fried fish perfection. If you like fish and chips, if you like a fish fry, you're gonna absolutely be mind blown over this. I got something else that's kind of similar. This is the Kolkata chop, and it's minced chicken with spices, with spices inside a delightfully crunchy outer shell. And there's Bengali spices on the inside. And it comes with some kind of chutney dip. Mint chutney. This restaurant really knows how to fry its food to just obtain that magnificent outer crunch. The chicken is tender, it's seasoned nicely. It's one of those things where I wish I had this first before the fish dish. The fish is so impressive, the flavor, the texture. I mean, this is good, but it's not as good as the fish. This next dish is also a signature dish here. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. That's what I love about Indian food. Before you taste it, you're smelling the heck out of it. And this dish is called Kosha Mangsho. It's tender pieces of mutton cooked over slow flame with Bengali seasoning inside. So there's potatoes in here. I see cinnamon, curry, parsley, some chilies. And to eat that, fresh garlic naan. Mushy potatoes, tender pieces of boneless mutton. 
this stuff is so spiced up. And I'm not talking about heat, I'm just talking about the masala. It's always a wonder to me how a lot of Indian foods, you can utilize so much spices and herbs and make it balance so incredibly well. When you're taking a bite, all the spices and the aroma is just bouncing off my tongue. I mean, it's thick, it's rich, it's hearty, it's incredibly rustic. Check out this next dish. It is so pretty. It's a coconut with curry inside. It's a curry served inside a gigantic coconut. It's a chinguri mashir malai curry. So if you open the top, that aroma is just rushed out of this coconut. Inside, succulent prawns in this thick, rich gravy. And it's cooked with spicy coconut cream. Oh my goodness, you gotta come here and try this. This is some sensational stuff. Mm. The curry is rich, it's thick. The coconut cream also makes it so, so velvety. The fragrance from the cardamom, the cinnamon, all shines through. And then just a blast of coconut flavor. Give me a slight bit of sweetness. Mmm. and just enhancing those already sweet prawns. This is some magical elixir. You will never tire dip your naan into that. Oh my gosh. I mean, the curry is already super aromatic because all that great spices in here, but the coconut just pushes it over the top. If you want the coconut flavor to be even stronger, dig a little deeper along the wall and get you some of that nice coconut meat. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. The delicate coconut meat and that rich, spicy, sweet, delicious, the velvety gravy like nothing I've ever had before. If you come to this place, highly recommend. Get the fried fish, get this. I'm gonna put this on a must try list. Amazing. I'm definitely feeling the heat now. Sitting outside, there's no air conditioning, and this thing is just boiling me on the inside. So my tongue is on fire. I asked for a spicy version of this. It's one of those food items that will burn you, it will hurt you, but you just want to keep going back for more. I only brought one pair of shorts on this entire trip, and I dropped the curry prawn on it. I feel more bad about wasting a curry prawn though. Anyway, so I had to go buy some, buy some clothes. Back at Little India, I am at Tika Center, which is a multi-use market. There's a wet market here, there's a bunch of shops, of course, a food court. And since I've been craving biryani all day, there's a biryani place that's supposed to be really good. And they got a line too. Let's see if we can get some here. Boom. To eat the inside, whoa, there are a lot of juice in this coconut. It's like a lake of juice in here. I love a good pouch of biryani. I don't know what it is, the food that comes in pouches, it just seems better. For six Singapore dollars, I get a lot of biryani. Dropping in a flood of gravy. Oh, there's a giant piece of chicken here. Oh my goodness. That is a huge piece of chicken leg. Huge piece of chicken leg, a river of curry, and a ginormous mountain of rice, plus an egg and a biryani. That chicken is fall off the bone tender. Whoo! Mm. Oh, that's so good. Rich, creamy gravy. Delicious masala. The rice is absolutely freaking perfect. The texture is fluffy, it's aromatic, and the curry blends in so well. Mm. Especially a bite with the egg, where you get that nice creaminess of the yolk. Combine that with the rich, delicious flavor of the biryani. Last time I had something this good, I think it was in Dubai. That's another reason I love Singapore so much. 
is such a great melting pot of cultures. And a huge portion of the population are Indian, so you know you're gonna find some delicious Indian food here. Like I said, six fifty, so that's about under five dollars US for this ginormous spiced up meal. I'd have come back to Little India more often. I mean, I know I can finish this this humongous biryani. I just don't know if I can finish this giant coconut. Oh, so big. All right, last food item for tonight, some parada. I got a mutton murtabak, which is a stuffed pancake. And for dessert, honey parada. Honey parada, siphon out. Look at this giant murtabak. Look at this giant pancake. This is about six Singapore dollars. Stuffed with eggs and cheese, onions and mutton. So the mutton and the eggs seem to be scrambled together. Some curry to dip it in. Mm. Oh. This is a fitting conclusion. Cool, awesome food day here in Little India. The pancake is ever so flaky. So many different layers. It's eggy, it's cheesy. I love the addition of the onions. The outside is flaky and toasty inside. The mutton is good, the curry is delicious. Mm. The texture of pancake is so chewy and airy. And this stuff is freshly cooked, it's piping hot. This is about as comforting as comfort food gets. Mm. Just wanna try the honey burrata before it gets cold. Honey getting cold is, is no good. Mm. This is just a perfect dessert. Toasty, thin, light, with delicious sweet honey inside. Nothing overpowering it goes perfect with this parada. It's almost like a super thin, luxurious little honey crepe. Mmm. I haven't been back in Little India for years, and it's for my first time back since I came to Singapore a few weeks ago. And this has really been one of the best food days I've had so far. I forget how addictive really good Indian food is. Try some ice cream with this be even more perfect. So today, some of the best food items I've had, well, everything was good. Let me just put it out there, everything was good. Some of the standout items, the dosa from this morning, amazing. Also, the, the grilled fish from this morning. Everywhere I went today, people I met have been incredibly friendly. Prawn curry inside that coconut, life-changing. Make sure you get the spicy version. And the biryani I just had was incredible. This, the Prada, I mean, it's a long way, but you can definitely see why there's a long way. And trust me, it's worth it. And as always, all the places I went to, let's down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.